Hello everyone, this is Jag. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a really easy and cheap trellis or free trellis for sticking tomatoes. Well, to start with, what you need is bamboo sticks like this. And you can find this for free if you have a friend who has bamboo or you can grow some bamboo yourself, but just be very, very careful because bamboo grows like crazy. So if you don't have a set perimeter for bamboo, it will overtake anything. It will overtake your garden. So if you wanna grow bamboo yourself, just have a contained environment. Or if you have somebody else or you know a place where you can get bamboo sticks like this, dried bamboo sticks, that's the best way to do it. So I have my uh, mentor Ben who actually has a really big bamboo garden. So he gave me these bamboo sticks all for free. So I'm going to be using these for, to build a tomato trellis absolutely free. And it's going to be very easy to make and very easy to store as well. So let me show you. So here's the finished product of making this tomato trellis using the bamboo sticks I just showed you. So let me show you how to put it all together as well. It's really easy. So to start, you want to have same size bamboo sticks. So if your bamboo sticks are about six to seven feet tall, that's the perfect size that you want. And you want to section them into three each because we're gonna be making teepees. So we're gonna have a tripod uh, with these bamboo sticks. And then we're gonna have a long lateral bamboo sticks that's gonna connect those teepees or tripods. So let's build those. Okay, so I got three bamboo sticks that are equal length. So I'm just going to get all three of these all together and stand up straight. And then I have this twine. So I'm going to use this twine and go around a couple of times. So I'm gonna go a couple of times and not too tight. Just going to make a knot here, a knot that I can untie very easily if I need to in future. So I'm gonna get this. So I can pull this out and untie this anytime I want. Now to make your trellis, all you gotta do is fan them out like that. There you go. So you can make your tie a little bit up or a little bit down. And there you go. Just like a camera tripod, this is a tripod as well. So if it's sliding too much, just untie that where we had tied before. Go real tight and then tie again. There you go. So it all depends how sturdy you want it. It's better to have it more sturdy than, than not. And have an opening here to put a lateral as well. So position it in a way so that it's not an obstruction of this way towards your row. So I'm gonna keep it right there. I'm gonna put my lateral right there. So let me build two, two more of these teepees and we can start putting our laterals. So I built all of my teepees, all of my tripods. I put three of them in here and I can put more, as many as I like. And here's the best thing about these tripods. If you're done at the end of the season, guess what? You can just store them like this. Just keep it tied up here. Just store them like this. So if you wanna put them out again, just fan them out and they're ready to go again. All right, now it's time to put our laterals. So I have a bamboo stick right here. So all I'm gonna do is go in between these two tripods. Just put them in like this. You can actually leave it like this if you want. You know, it's, it's a sturdy structure, it's not gonna go anywhere. But if you are concerned about wind, once you tie up your tomato plants up here, there's going to be wind factor in there. You can always tie it up with some twine or some string. I'm gonna go in there a couple of times and just tie it up. There you go. All right, time for the second lateral. Put it in right here and right there. Ready to go. All right, so there are two laterals in here on one this center TP. So I'm just going to go a couple of times like this and tie it together. I'm gonna make it snug, tight and snug, you know, just in case there's a lot of wind or my chickens run into it, that it's all secure. Now, look at this I've already put in a twine from the lateral from the top up to one of the branches of the tomato plant to have it straight up now as you can see this branch is flopping over and this has the uh, tomato flowers as well so as soon as it gets tomatoes it's just gonna go right to the ground so we want to have it stand right up stick it up so to do that this is what we're gonna do 
we are going to start our string right here make a little loop and make a loose knot right there not to cut in into the stem of the tomato so make sure to go below the last sucker and tie a loose knot and then make a knot that you can also take out so here it is all right so now just wrap around the tomato plant around this twine tomato plants are flexible but they can also break if you stress them a little so wrap it around a couple of times and now I'm going to tie it up here now when you're tying it up here get a little bit longer twine because you can also lower it down as the tomato plant is growing and keep moving laterally and keep having tomato plants in the same spot so I'm going to keep at least two more feet of my twine up here so I got my twine it's two more feet right there so I'm going to cut it at two feet length there you go that's how much twine I have I'm gonna go on my lateral and tie a knot and again you can tie a knot here that you can take out you know if you need it So there you go, the tomato plant has been staked and I'm going to make it go one more time around this string. So as the tomato plant is growing, just keep twisting it around the string. So I just keep going down the row and keep sticking all of these up. So this is how I'm doing them basically. Very easy to do. Just make a knot at the bottom. Make sure it's a little bit loose like I said before, not too tight because you don't want to choke out your stem. And then just wrap around stem itself and the top there you go all right so let me put it on the lateral basically I'm just doing 10 seconds of plant and just keep moving on the row and that's how fast it's going so here's a tomato trellis and it's looking pretty good and really sturdy and it's standing on this tripods which is a very very stable system and I have strings coming down on each one of the plants as well. So that's how it's looking like. This tomato trellis system is really good and it provides a really good support for all the tomato plants as well. So basically this is how cheap and easy it is to make this tomato trellis. And at the end of the season, you can easily take out those tripods or teepees and store them as well for next season. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another video.